Hey everybody. So today's video, uh, more fence fixing. So my cows, uh, they're kind of spoiled. And so they always like to get in the, the best stuff they can. So they like to go through the fence like this, push it down. So we're gonna work on that. So what they do is they just basically reach their heads through and then they're so big that it's uh and you know their skin's thick that this barbed wire doesn't really slow them down a whole lot um so what i'm gonna have to do is untangle this of course first and i'll put my leather gloves on um and then stretch it and then we'll tie it uh tie it back to the steel post uh, we've got some uh, continuous panels that I think we're going to replace uh, some of the fencing up uh, in the yard. And then those panels, maybe we'll have almost enough to do this whole run. And if I have to get a couple more, okay, not such a big deal. Um, then it'll be easier to keep them in. But they, um, they can get out, basically... <laughs> when you got uh ton bulls or however big they are you know honestly uh, kind of like speed limits for me these fences are just a suggestion um <clears throat> and i see i missed some spraying here on some thistles so i'll have to hit um I, what i like to do is after we get that first frost in the fall and then you get a little warm up hit it and then have to hit it again in the spring uh, otherwise yeah those purple flowers get all over but now the other purple flowers, it looks like we had a deer or something bedded down here. Um, and you can see <clears throat> there's been some eating going on here. But third cutting of the alfalfa isn't far off. Um, now we're gonna have, uh, gonna have some, uh, eh, this will be a pretty decent cutting or a third cutting really we got inch of rain last week so that's going to help this we'll let this go uh probably this week because there's a couple chances of rain in the forecast and you know it's, obviously it's a lot better standing than it is laying down when we get rain so i will get my gloves on and i'll get to work on the fence all right so this kind of gives a good contrast so i just tightened this one up and you see, you know, that how that one is compared to what my cows have done to the other ones. So I got it untangled. These three were all tangled together. This one's obviously loose. Yeah, all of them are loose, basically. So I'm going to have to tighten all of them up. But to put the uh, clips back on, and I brought two bags out just in case. And, you know, I've put clips on and then put the barbed wire over top of it, tried to snug it down. Yeah, they'll break them all. Um, so, basically, this is just a maintenance item um, for my cows, unfortunately. But, uh, so, put your, put your one end there. Take it around the steel post. Try and get it close to a notch. And then, use the top end of your fencing pliers, pull it up, and twist it around. Without breaking them, which is why the new ones uh, usually work better. And then I always tighten the other side down a little bit too. And there, now we got a new clip on there. That should last, oh, I don't know, a couple hours. <laughs> no, it, it'll last a while. Once once I tighten the fence up, plus, um, so my cows are also spoiled. 
So right now, they don't like the straight alfalfa bales. You know, that, that's there. They like the brome alfalfa mix. The alfalfa, they'll just spread it out. The brome alfalfa mix bale, they'll just, uh, they'll eat it all up. You know, won't leave any waste. So then, of course, you know, you get all sorts of YouTube critics, which by all means, if that's what you want to do, go ahead and do that. Um, they'll be like, wow, you got to grind it and get it. In. Well, I don't have the, all the equipment to keep up with that for my whopping 10 head of, you know, with the calves, 10 head of cows. So this is how we do it. Um, yeah, does it always work perfect? No. And now that we're uh, almost done with August, basically until we harvest the corn and then I can let them out on the stocks and everything, it's going to be a fight. Um, this is kind of how it goes. But uh, I'll finish tightening this up and get the clips on. All right, so, oh, get the glare off. Uh, got it down to the point uh, that I've been looking for. Uh, the last one here, we'll have to put that one on. Uh, the sun has been moving, obviously, and uh, it's starting to get warm. I like to, uh, you know, listen to tunes sometimes when I'm doing this. Now, obviously, I can't do that when I'm recording uh, because then YouTube will slap you down. But, uh, um, yeah, it, uh, so my phone, I didn't realize as the sun was moving, it started shining on it so then my tunes quit because I uh, <coughs> my phone was overheated so all right here we are we're down to the one we've been looking for and put this one on here I'll uh, set you up on the bucket so you got a good view there we are all right so Pretty simple operation here. I can get you a little more square. There we are. All right, so, and this is, uh, you know, this is the way I do it. Again, you you always got those guys out on YouTube that are, uh, that are experts. And I've said, um, anybody that wants to come over and show me how to do it and fix all my fence, by all means. So far, nobody's showed up. But, we got this bad boy on. We'll put him about right there. Clip that first side, get it up. Use the hooky part so then it can slide and tighten while you're going around. Boom. And then I come back and I hit this other one. And get around there. So yeah, so I got that. You know, it is shady down here. This is kind of nice uh, when I'm down here on the bottom. Um, so like I said, I think this fence is gonna get replaced uh, sooner rather than later. For right now, uh, gotta, gotta keep, it, uh, keep it working for what we're using it for. The cows, of course, they love, uh, they love to be, uh, be where they're not supposed to be. That was easy for me to say. Um, we got one more cutting of hay to go this year yet. Uh, I've still got a hose that I gotta put on the rake. Uh, I was actually able to rake last time without it because we didn't move it between fields. So I didn't really have to lift it up. It makes it a little more interesting when you're doing the ends, but uh, for a little 10 acre piece right here, it, uh, it went fine. Um, so yeah, um, looks like going to have another warm week next week. Then the week after looks like we'll get down to the 70s and fall might be starting to show up. It's amazing how time flies. So, all right. So always keep your fence and pliers at the ready. Unfortunately, usually need them. And uh, I'll see if this keeps those uh, starving buffalo of mine in the fence where they're supposed to be and as always take care and thanks for watching